Cindy here, physical therapist with Adaptive Equipment Corner. We hope everyone is taking care and staying safe out there. We are in day we don't know what of quarantine. Seems like it may have started in March of 1986 by the looks of my hair. But today we are going to do a video on axillary crutches versus forearm crutches. So if you find this video helpful, please make sure that you subscribe to our YouTube channel, like and share on Facebook, and make sure you check us out at aecorner.com. So let's get started. So this is a standard axillary crutch or underarm crutch. This type of crutch has been the most commonly used crutch in the United States. So this type of crutch is used at one side. You put it right here underneath and right next to your side underneath your arm. Your hand goes here for support. So the weight bearing on this type of crutch is supposed to happen through the hand and wrist as well as a little bit of a snugness of this crutch up against the side of your trunk when you're using these. Now one of the common mistakes that people make is the crutch is not adjusted correctly. You should have a couple of finger widths of room between your armpit and this crutch. It's not adjusted correctly and or people just tend to lean on the top of this crutch which, which can cause a lot of problems. There are nerves that run underneath your armpit. It can cause some problems for your arm sometimes called crutch palsy. So again this is a standard um, axillary crutch. So this is a standard forearm crutch. Sometimes in the past it's been referred to as a loft strand crutch. Now with these crutches, typically there is some type of a cuff up here that goes around the forearm. Um, here is where the weight or the, the weight goes through the hand right here at the hand grip, and then you brace your forearm kind of back against this cuff or upper bar area. Now this type of crutch is more common in uh, countries outside of the United States. So let's talk about three areas in regards to these crutches. We're going to talk about efficiency, we're going to talk about posture, and we're going to talk about comfort. So let's talk about efficiency first. So efficiency is how much effort it takes you to use the crutches. I've looked at several studies, and in those studies they've looked at varying factors such as heart rate, oxygen consumption. They even taken, have taken a look at the length of the crutch and where it is pivoting from. For example, the axillary crutch is pivoting from the armpit area versus the forearm crutch is pivoting more from the elbow area. Bottom line is I did not see any concrete details telling me this crutch was better than the other crutch. I have seen some information from individuals who have been long-term crutch users that tend to feel like the forearm crutch takes a little bit more strength to use versus the axillary crutch. And that's what I think I found um, using the forearm crutch as well. Now let's talk about posture. I haven't seen any specific studies that talk about posture, so if anybody has a link to one out there, please send it our way. Now, after using the crutches, I feel like it was easier for me to hold my posture with the forearm crutch. So let me show you what I'm speaking of. Um, so when I am in the middle of walking, when I advance the axillary crutch, I feel like my body has to, to get my weight bearing onto this uh, hand grip, I feel like I have to lean a little bit further forward than I do when I'm using the forearm crutch. So when I advance the forearm crutch, I feel like I'm able to, because of the weight bearing and where my arm is locked out, I'm able to maintain a more upright posture with the forearm crutch. Now, um, again, I haven't seen any studies specific to that, but that's what I felt like whenever I was using the two of these. The last point we are going to talk about is comfort. And comfort has a lot to do with weight bearing. So in these two crutches, you are weight bearing right down through the palms of your hands. So a lot of times you'll see people build up these hand grips uh, for more padding. Now that is, of course, on this crutch if you're not leaning on it in the armpit area, which of course we don't recommend that you do. Now there are companies, um, I've seen a variety of different crutches. They're, they're changing designs, trying to improve the weight bearing as well as the shock absorption. We did, uh, we were sent a crutch from a crutch uh, company called the Smart Crutch. That is this one here. This is a type of forearm design, but it's made uh, with a little bit of versatility in being that um, instead of having to bear right down through the palm of the hand here, this platform will adjust 
and it will allow you to move the weight bearing surface or increase the weight bearing surface from the palm of the hand back through the forearm. So that's just one type of crutch that's out there, um, that, but there's multiple different designs for both the axillary and the forearm crutch. In summary, deciding what crutch is best for you will depend on how long you're going to be on the crutches, how strong your upper body is, as well as taking into consideration not flaring up other parts of your body while you're waiting for whatever is going on in your leg to heal. We all know that any type of crutch is going to take practice, especially when you're dealing with stairs. So we always recommend that you get some consultation from your local physical therapist, again, on what type of crutch is best for you, as well as training. We hope this video has been helpful. Please check out the comment section below, and there's a link down there to check out a review video if you're interested on the Smart Crutch. That's it for today from Adaptive Equipment Corner. Have a great day, and don't forget, if you can't do it, adapt it.